Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Cricut project. So today, I am going to be showing you how to make these little peony flowers with your Cricut. So these are made out of um, cardstock or con hard construction paper, but it's called cardstock. And little tiny um, craft board. Um, it's the rose gold metallic craft board and it's beautiful. I'm going to be showing you how to cut them out, how to curl everything, how to assemble all the layers. It's six layers just for the petals and then the inside part and there's two leaves. But essentially I made a lot of them and I put together this love is the key sign slash wreath. I was going to put it on the front door, but I wanted it with my gnomes. So you can use them to put really anything together. I've even put a stem on flowers like this before. I made a really pretty bouquet for a rehearsal dinner for a friend of mine who is getting married. I will leave a link to that below because I do believe I did a tutorial on it. But Cricut flowers are fun and easy and almost anyone can make them as long as you can have the hand strength to curl for this long because all of my hands hurt by the time I was done. I have bad arthritis and carpal tunnel, so you know. Maybe you don't have that problem, but either way, they are fun, they are easy, you just need a little wrist power. I'm gonna show you how to make them, and then if you want to see how I actually put the sign together, I will leave a link below for that video as well. And I guess for my Cricut gnomes, because they are in the video. So, let's get started.
All right, y'all, so once everything is cut, we have all these pieces to make our flower. So the flowers end up looking like this. There's two different sizes. We have two identical large leaves. We have two identical large and medium leaves. They are different sizes, so keep those straight. And then we have two identical small pieces that are the same size. So same size, same size, two different sizes. Then we have our leaves and our middle part. Now the middle part in the cut file has, um, very hard to pick up. <laughs> the middle part in the cut file has two of these. I decided I only needed one because I cut mine out of this thick foil board. Um, I did a few of them with two, and they do look pretty, but they're just as pretty with one. So, I mean, decide what you want to do. I made, I made a few varieties, but I'm going to show you how to fold everything and roll everything and glue everything to take this to this. And this is the materials for the smaller flower. It's the exact same process for the smaller version. It's just smaller. So essentially we're gonna start rolling. You can use the handle of a pen. You can use the handle of a X-Acto knife. You can use the handle of a screwdriver. You basically just need something small and round to wrap around. I'm going to be using this screwdriver because it has a smaller um, what's the word? It's smaller. I, I don't know how else to say that. It's smaller and therefore it gives you tighter curls, which I find, um, look a little better on, on these particular peonies. So you can see this is with the small barrel. This is with a larger barrel. All right, I also like that since it's a screwdriver, it has a handle. So when I'm curling, I have something to hold on to and then something to curl on. But that's just personal preference. So for our larger leaf, and I always do try to go in order, I'm gonna hold it right like this so that the tab is here. And then I just use my nail to score that flap. We're gonna do the same thing here and I'm going to use a straight edge because this is a lot harder to bend, but this cardstock just scores. So then we're gonna put a small dab of hot glue right there. Now we're going to glue this together. Make sure not to burn your finger. And while you do want to keep the hot glue mess to a minimum, this is the underside. You don't really see this. So, you know. From here, I place my little barrel halfway down the leaf. I'm going to fold it over and then I'm going to start just curling it around the barrel. There we go. And then stretch that out just a little. I found that the way these sit, you don't need to curl past here where the um, scallopy part of the petals start. So I kind of fold it over and that gives me a good place to start my curl. All right. And you can, if you want, curl like this one. I curl sometimes one at just an angle and that gives me a slightly different curl than the straight on curl. All right, so I already did one of them. So now we're going to put them together and to put them together, I just put a little glue there we go. at the tops there. And now when we put them together, we're gonna to make sure to stagger them so that the petals go every other petal and that these slits at the bottom 
are all together because the slits are what's going to make us be able to flatten this baby out and have a straight bottom. The slits will fold in and close up. And so instead of this pointy bottom, we will have a flat bottom flower. All right, so there's layer one. Now for layer two, we have our smaller petals and we have the larger petals. We're going to curl these the same way. I'll do this side. It doesn't matter too much, but like this had a little something right there on the back. So we'll, we'll leave that as the back. But I just put this where the scallops start and then I curl, curl them around, curl them around. You can curl these further up. The further up you curl, the more inwards your peony flowers will be. Um, and peonies have a lot of layers, a lot of petals that do curl inwards. So that is appropriate if you like that. I just find that the more inwards I curl, the less you can see um, that middle layer. So I do these and the outside ones just to here. And I find that that works really well. All right, so once everything is curled, I'm just gonna go around the flower. I'm gonna push everything up and I'm gonna increase right here, see? No crease, crease. That way you have a natural crease right here that once your flower is put together, if you need to pull some of those petals more up and around, you can. Kind of just scrunch it up a little. Perfect. Now I'm gonna glue these two layers together. And for this one, I'm gonna put a little hot glue on the back of the smaller layer. And now we're gonna, again, just oppose those petals. So they're every other one. And then I'm just gonna make sure that the, the centers are together. So when you fold these up, you can tell where the center is and then smush them together. Perfect. Let's do the, the third layer. So these, they're not hard to glue, but they definitely take the most time. But what I learned is you put a little dot of glue on each side. All right, and now we're going to take these sides. We're just gonna fold them in until that circle rests on the hot glue. Then I count to five. One, two, three, four, five, and now I'm going to squish with my finger. That gives it enough time that the, the glue is uh, not hot anymore and will squish down flat and see, okay, so this one I didn't squish down flat, this one I did. So when I set this down, this is going to curl up a little more because that hot glue is popping it up, whereas this one's a little flatter. Either way works, but just Keep that in mind. I've found that I can adjust the petals more the flatter this hot glue is, um, but this will curl in on itself more. So if you want closer curled buds, leave the hot glue popped out a little bit. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did on all the others. Place it halfway down, fold it over, and then curl it out to the tips. There we go. The way these are made, they really don't like to curl to the tips. Yeah, my dog agrees. So, just gotta watch them so that they don't stay halfway. There you go. I should have curled this one already. Oh well. I mean, it's fast. Now, I made like 20 of these last night. That was not fast. Hot gluing and curling all night. 
but for one, one goes pretty fast. All right, and we've got two of them. Place some hot glue. Place some hot glue right here on the back. I knew I saw a funky bit. All right, so now again, we're gonna just oppose those, but we gotta make sure that the, the center circles are lined up. There we go. All right, we're getting close, y'all. We gotta do these rose gold parts now. So for the middle, I'm just gonna fold those sides up Fold the other sides up, fold everything up. We want it to stay as tight as we can because it's gonna fall out over time. So fold it all up and then I'm gonna put a dab of hot glue on the back. That's a bit much, but it'll work. I'm going to place this directly in the center of my flower. And then I'm going to use something to just squish it all down. Now, I'm using a pen because this is fairly rounded. And when you push into that foil, it will leave an indent. So the pen leaves a round indent and that, that doesn't bother me like this did not go well. So keep that in mind. Now let's do our leaf. So for the leaf, I just have a letter opener. You can use a ruler or anything hard. I'm just going to line it up with that line and then do my crease. That works a lot better than my nail for this thick party foil. Glue. Now keep everything lined up really tight and glue it together. And these leaves turn out so cute. Look at that. All right, let's put the flower together. So I find it easiest to put the two bottom layers together first. So I'm just going to do glue on the inside and you want to go as close to those flaps as you can without going on the flaps. And now we're going to fit this together. Once it's together, I'm going to start smushing those flaps down so that everything is flat. There we go. And then I kind of set it down and flatten it out. And if you wanted to put a stem in here before you glued those together, I would put a strand straight, straight through and fold it up this way, and then it would be glued in between those layers. And you could easily put a stem on these. Let's do the top layer. I'm just gonna put some hot glue in the middle here. And now, fit these two together, but I'm gonna curl that up just a bit more first. That's better. And now let's mush it down. Okay, so this is when that small layer of petals, um, you can kind of pull those up around that inside layer as much as you want to. So depending on what you're doing, you could glue your leaves to the back. And they are beautiful. I am going to take mine and make something with all of my pretty ones that I made. 
like a crazy person. So I am not going to glue my leaves on because I'm going to use the leaves all over. liked this project stick around I've got even more Cricut tutorials coming up if you want to see what I'm gonna make with these flowers I will leave that link down below but either way I will see you in the next video bye don't forget like comment subscribe share send it to your mom hit that bell turn on those notifications I will be back with more Cricut resin home tutorials in the next project bye for real